Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for another video. Welcome those of you who are new. My name is Caitlin. I do videos on all sorts of topics, specifically military content, family lifestyle, vlogs. I'm a new mom so all sorts of exciting content here on this channel. I'd love to have you if you want to subscribe and join the family. If you're returning, thank you guys for continuing to support my small channel. Today's video is going to be all about how to save money while living overseas in Guam. This video is gonna be specifically tailored to military families, although some of it does apply if you're just coming to the island of Guam. So I have eight things that can help you to save money while living here. So the first thing that I have on my list is to avoid living off base to save money. That is because electricity costs have gone through the roof. They skyrocketed recently and some people's bills have been in upwards of $700 all the way up to like $1,000 and there's about to be a 40 to 50% increase coming in the next couple months. So by November, the bills are going to be outrageous. And living on base, uh, for those that don't know, you don't pay any utilities. So we don't pay any trash, we don't pay water, we don't pay electricity. So we can run our AC at whatever we want and we don't have to worry about an astronomical bill coming in. And you do get some money to pay towards your utilities but the way that people's bills have been recently it doesn't cover it and uh, we get cola however uh, there was just a survey that came out to hopefully increase uh sorry to increase cola with the rising costs but last year it actually decreased so you never know but you can save money by living on base the Second tip I have for you to save money is to budget, budget, budget. I have seen so many people posting recently about how they have not been able to save money while living in Guam. And that's one thing that we actually have had no issues with. Yes, we did take a pay cut coming to Guam because we're not on a sea duty. And then I obviously originally took a pay cut coming from Washington. Their wages are way higher than living in Guam. so. Um, but I see so many people talk about how they don't know how to save and when you ask them are you budgeting they say no they don't even know how much they're spending I think that's the biggest step is figuring out how much you're spending because I know before we started budgeting we would just swipe the card and not even realize how much we were spending so budget 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 if you guys want a whole video let me know in the comments down below I can do a video about how we budget as a military family the Third thing that I have um, as tip wise for you guys is to take advantage of the free classes that are offered here on base. So there's things called the Million Dollar Sailor. I believe it is like a Dave Ramsey course. Um, they're all offered through Fleet and Family. There's a budgeting for baby if you're expecting. And if you complete the course, they actually give you like a $50 Amazon gift card. There are um, USO coffee connections for military spouses and they are recently just did a whole series on couponing and I believe they're going to do another course coming up on like how to prolong um, your the life of your produce and things like that so they are a great source for how to save money as well. The fourth tip I have is couponing. Now this is something that we haven't really done but I've kind of been looking into in the near future. Uh, one of the military spouses just sent me her whole guide on how to coupon specifically as a military spouse and here in Guam. And one thing that's really cool about living overseas is you can use coupons that are expired up to six months past their expiration date since you're overseas. So don't toss those expired coupons and you can use all of your coupons at the commissary at the next so like we use nestle water i had a coupon for that or um, you can pick up coupon packets at fleet and family at navy and marine corps society and at the commissary themselves they typically have a um, like magazine holder and you can pick up some coupons or you can just get them offline too and use them so number four was couponing number five is to take advantage of 
all of the free or cheap entertainment. So instead of spending money to go do things like going and spending $50 for a hotel pool day, take advantage of the pool on base. It is free and they have a splash pad for kids. Take advantage of the beaches, go hiking. The movie theater on base plays all of the new movies like I believe Jurassic Park is out, the new Thor movie just came out and they are very very cheap tickets and their food or snack prices aren't the same prices as you would go as they would be at a normal movie theater so it's way cheaper also if you are wanting to do like a hotel stay or something like that visit the gym they have a um coupon not coupon they have um, like a discount place that you can get discounted prices on things so like all of the hotel stays all of the excursions or things that are on island um, a lot of times they have discounted tickets for those things so always check them out before you go and do things the sixth way to save money is to meal plan before you go grocery shopping so meals and groceries have also skyrocketed i feel like the price of everything these days has skyrocketed but i know specifically living overseas our grocery bill has gone up a ridiculous we used to be able to spend two hundred dollars every two weeks and now we spend 150 dollars to 200 dollars a week so it is like basically doubled so my tips for you to save money while grocery shopping is to meal plan before you go and write out your grocery list and stick to it when you go grocery shopping if you have a list and you stick to it you're not going to impulse buy and put everything in the cart or just like be real with yourself and be like nope if it's not on the list i'm not getting it also shopping at the commissary it is way cheaper to shop on base at the commissary than it is out in town we uh a lot of times the commissary will be out of stuff and sometimes we'll buy meat off base and for example i think i've said this in another video but we bought jimmy dean sausage it's like four dollars at the commissary we needed it for something and we went to pay less pay less off base and it was double the price it was eight bucks so shopping on base at the commissary can save you lots of money Another thing you can do, and this is how we saved money on groceries in the States, is shopping online, do um, grocery pickup. Uh, the commissary actually recently launched this. Last year they launched, it's called click to go The downfall last year when they launched it here was that you had to park but then go in to pay if you ordered it online, but they actually just updated their entire system. So now when you pay online, um, when you order your groceries online, you don't have to get out of your car to go in to pay. They'll deliver it to your car. So click to go would be a way that you could save money. The only thing that I would be wary about that is because the commissary is always running out of things and sometimes the produce doesn't always look the best, is to just be wary because you are having someone else pick your groceries. They might not pick them to the standard that you are, but... You could always try it out and see if it saves you money. The seventh tip that I have for you guys is a secondary income. A lot of spouses overseas choose not to work. They say that they can't find a job and things of that nature. I have a whole video I can link right here on how to get a job as a military spouse, but really um, use the resources to get a job and a secondary income. That has helped us to save money. I know just to save money and to be able to spend how we want to spend, we are someone who like to have we both like to have money to spend as we please. We like to live a lavish life and not have to live paycheck to paycheck. And me working and having that secondary income really helps us to be able to do those things. If we want to go stay at a hotel this weekend, we can do that because we have the money to do so. So I highly recommend a secondary income and using your spousal preference and seeking resume help and to get a job while over here. The final tip I have for you guys is to become part of the rewards member uh, membership program and to use scratchers. So the rewards membership program is through the next. You basically just sign up with your phone number or your email. You can do it online or they can help you in stores, but you get cash back when you use your phone number. So if you use your phone number, I don't know what the percent back that you get cash back, but we we shop for everything at the next 
if it's not at the commissary, we're at the next floor. So like paper towels, toilet paper, um, makeup, electronics, anything we need, we shop at the commissary, or not commissary, sorry, the next. And you get that percent back. So we always are ending up with like a $5 coupon in our email, a $20 coupon here and there. So you get money back. So take advantage of that. It's free and using scratchers and waiting for sales. So specifically on big furniture, we, our entire bedroom set, our couch set, we always buy on a scratcher and always wait because there typically is going to be a new scratcher like every month. And typically it falls around a holiday or something like that. But the scratchers are basically a coupon card and it has three scratched off things. And when you go to check out, they basically ask you which one you want to use and they scratch it off there. It can be anywhere from like five, 15, 50 to free and always worth using if you're going to make a big purchase. But yeah, that wraps up my eight ways that you can save money as a military spouse while living here in Guam. Let me know if you have any additional tips in the comments down below. Let me know if you think these tips are helpful. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment because I want to know who's watching my videos. And I will see you guys next Friday for another one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys!